Okay, welcome back to this video on uh, disposals. Uh, this is a Tony Yao question. It is actually um, a Cambridge uh, past examination question and it is uh, in your booklets on page 173, your booklet one. Um, I've just handwritten the uh, question because I have run out of ink on the printer. But, so, this video uh, here will go over this uh, question and it just says that Tony Yao um, has his financial year ending on the 31st of April. Uh, he depreciates his non-current assets every year um, and his balances on the 1st of May 2013 uh, were 8,600 and his provision for depreciation was 3260. Okay, the equipment is depreciated 20% per annum, straight line from the date of purchase. No depreciation charges charge in the year of disposal. Okay, uh, on the 31st of October 2020, 2013, equipment that cost 2000 on May 1st, 2011, was sold for $750. Okay, and then on the 1st of November 2013, he bought... Um, equipment worth 3200 What I would start to do is um, I think a lot of people overthink these. I think we need to play uh, really into our strengths here and say May to um, April 31st. So he needs to actually depreciate two years worth of depreciation. Okay, straight line method, we're assuming uh, we are just going to do part one first. So our equation, so our provision for depreciation on the sold item. Okay, that's what we're going to work out first. So on the sold item, we're going to work out our provision. So it cost us 2000 okay, in 2011. We are now in 2013, okay? So we need two years' worth of depreciation. So year one is going to be 2000 times 20%, which equals four grand, okay? Uh, sorry, $400, not four grand, okay? And we know because it's a straight line method that year two will also be $400. So our total depreciation on the sold item so far is $800, and we need that for later on, okay? So just so you're aware, that is our provision on our sold item. Okay, what I'm going to move on to now is uh, do the calculations for part two. Okay, and what we're going to do here is do something a bit different. We're going to look at the equipment that we had bought. So what I'm going to do is write depreciation, and this is all working before we've even looked at the question. Depreciation on new EQ. Okay, so our new EQ, uh, our new, sorry, um, equipment is bought on November 1st, as we can read here, and it bought us $3,400, okay? And we know that $3,400 needs to be times by 0 0.2, okay, to get to um, our number. That equals seven, uh, $680. But we've only had that for half a year, so we need to divide that by 2. So it's a 680 times by 0.5, because we've only had it for six months, so our total depreciation on that will be $340. Okay, so that's our two depreciation done. Are we done yet? No, because what we also have to do is work out our depreciation for the year on the remaining stock. Okay, so depreciation on remainder. So this remainder... This is the equipment that is mentioned up here. This equipment here that costs $8,600, okay? We need to depreciate that, but we cannot just depreciate the $8,600 because that would be irresponsible, wouldn't it? So what we're going to do is go the $8,600 minus the $2,000 that we sold, okay, times the 20%, which equals our 1320. Okay, so that's all our calculations done. Nice and simple, straight there. Um, there is nothing really too complicated about that. 
the question actually asks to do these three accounts for the company. We want the equipment account, the provision for depreciation account on equipment, and the disposal for equipment account. So first of all, we're going to start off with the equipment account because that is probably the easiest one to do. What we're going to do is at the top, we are going to write our balance from the 1st of May. Okay, and that's going to be our balance. And that's going to be the one that, that is bought down from the year before, which we know from the text is 8,600. Okay, so 8,600 uh, 8, is there. What we do know is on uh, October 31st, so Oct 31, we disposed. Okay, disposal, and that's going to be worth 2,000. Okay, because that is a historical cost of the disposal. What we are then going to do is on the 1st of November, we are going to bring in new to you. Because remember, it is a credit sale, so we need to put into the account that it's coming from at 3400 Okay, we can obviously tell that the left-hand side is bigger, so what we're going to do is close that off. And that is going to be closed off at $12,000. Okay, the left-hand side is going to have a balance of... Uh, just be really careful of our dates because this is actually the uh, 30, 30th of April. And I would always write 2014, so I know it's next year. Okay, and balance is $10,000. Okay, 10000 bucks, And then obviously we are going to go 1st of May. 2014 balance 10,000. Okay, so that is uh, account one completed, um, and that you really don't need to do anything other than read the information to do that account. The hardest account here is this provision for depreciation account because you're using the calculations that you saw in part one. So, what we are going to do is open our account in 2013, so the 1st of May. 2013, we are going to go balance, and our balance is what was quoted in our article, which is 3260. So our 3260 sits there quite nicely. Then we need to bring back over our transactions because we need to know what um, on the 31st of October 2013 what was actually disposed and how much and that is why we did this nice calculation at the gnome and we're going to write disposal here and that's 800 yeah there are two ways to do this next bit uh there is uh depreciation or you can write income statement um i'm a bit of a perfectionist so i like um the the latter of the two um but uh some people call it I'm going to write depreciation. Uh, and then just to cover our backsides, we're going to put in brackets below an income statement because that's what Cambridge likes. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to have two entries here. We're going to just go like this and write uh, our two figures. So it's 1,000 over from here, 1,320. And then we're going to write 680. And then on the same line as the bottom, uh, sorry, not 6. Three. See, easy mistake to make. We're going to make the 340. Okay. And that total is going to give us 1,660. 1,660. Okay. And that can close off that account. Okay. And that will close off that account at 4. That right, yep, $4,920, okay, and that can be our closing balance. Uh, again, we're just going to minus off the 800 just to give us our nice balance figure, and remember that is going to be on the 30th of the 4th, 2014, uh, balance of 4120 Okay, then our disposable account, we're just using the balances from around the place, um, so this should be pretty straightforward for you. Uh, this is on October 31. We are going to write uh, equipment. Equipment of 2000 uh, on the uh, 31st of October again. We're going to write provision for debt. Just going to abbreviate just to make it a bit quicker, which is 800. 
okay then again we got cash for our sale and that was seven hundred and fifty dollars we can clearly see that the left hand side is greater than the right hand side so we can close that one off at two thousand uh, dollars this one can be closed off at two thousand dollars and again cambridge uh prefers you to write income statement but again i'm going to write the proper term which is a loss on sale of EQ or equipment uh, and then to cover my backside in a Cambridge exam I would write income statement below it okay and that is going to be the balancing figure which is $450 and so that is how you do a full question on uh, disposals um, I'll just move that down so you can slightly see that bottom bit um, but that is start to finish how you do uh, that question from Tony Yao um, Hope you enjoyed that one. See you next time.